says Maya, now it's Maya, Maya. Can we fly it? We can fly it higher. In the city, in the sky, yeah, the sky. Yeah. All right, hello, Marlins. Thank you for listening to our podcast. This is a special episode to talk about school expectation and vision for the year 2024 and 25. Joining us today is the commander of our school, our chief of chief, Principal Jordan. Hello, Marlins. <laughs> Welcome, Principal Jordan. And of course,、uh, we're going to get to right to the topic. This is your third year in McNeil Elementary. What are your overall opinions of our school and in comparison to your first year?、Um, I think I've just grown to love the school more and more each year.、Um, I think I've learned to appreciate the diversity and、um, all that our Merlins bring、um, because. Being in education this long, I do realize that this is a treasure that we have over here, and you don't find it everywhere. Yeah, we have a very dynamic group. Yeah, and I think the students are remarkable. They're so well mannered. And I think in today's society, children grow up really fast. And I think what's nice about McNeil is that we just have kids here. <laughs> they are just, if they're five, they're five year olds.、Yes. If they're eight, they're eight year olds.、Um, So, I think that's something that's really、um, great. And then the staff is also wonderful as well.、Um, there's a lot of tradition and a lot of、um, things that have sustained over the years that、um, I'm happy to be a part of and just welcomed into. And so, I think going into my third year, I'm just、um, most impressed about the community and just the deep love that everyone has for me. I, I really think that we have a very awesome community here. Even during the time of struggle,、uh, we always come together、yeah. uh, and then always to cooperate and always to share everything that we can have to, do, to support one another. So I thought that was really working well for our school.、Yeah. How do you plan to enhance the student experience for both academically and socially? Last year, we introduced a number of clubs, and that came to <laughs> fruition through just staff wanting to do things and、yeah. me just kind of saying, Yeah, let's go with it. <laughs>、um, so I'm happy to see that those clubs that were started last year are continuing this year. I think providing so many different opportunities for students to get involved after school and during school and before school is、um, something that's really great for them socially. Um, and it also transfers into their academics because a lot of the clubs do have some sort of tie or connection with their academics. And so, you know, continuing to provide those opportunities for our students and then academically continuing to grow them, having a focus on growth, having students understand where they are in day one of school and where they plan to go and have them be involved in setting those goals and ensuring that they are working hard to, to achieve them. Yes, having that experience and having that exposure, other than our curriculums that we provide, I thought it was a, a kind of golden opportunity for our students to really have that enrichment and for them to be, you know, prosperous with their educations, you know? Of course, the parents are always looking forward to spend a little more extra time yeah, <laughs> with、yeah. their students. So, I mean, for me, it was really great to see the. The teachers getting involved、mm-hmm. more and more, even after school, you know, and it's coming purely out of heart, you know.、Yeah. It's not like we're getting extra or anything, anything.、Yeah. Like、it's just、mm-hmm. coming from heart. So, all the teachers that are working outside, out there,、um, just doing their extra things, you know,、um, kudos to them. That's what they're making、uh, this McNeil a really great school. Yeah. And as you know,、um, our teachers in McNeil Elementary, we worked so hard、uh, to achieve our goals、um, and to provide the utmost support and education for our children.、Um, how does the school plan to address teacher well being and the workload management?、Um, I think it's very important to be mindful of teachers' time.、Um, I think that I am very aware and intentional of if I have a meeting, it starts at a certain time and it ends at a certain time. I also try my best to ensure that teachers are getting their time back if we don't need to meet or、um, if there's an opportunity where I can give you a chance to plan or, or do anything like that. Even in our beginning of year schedule, there was intentional time for you to be able to work in your classrooms and get your year started.、Mm-hmm. 
and we do have plans to, although we're not a school of innovation this year, of trying to um, provide some of that planning time for teachers during the school day. So we're working on plans to be able to give teachers some time each month as well. Um, and then, you know, we are doing right now our What a Wonderful Wednesday, which is just a short, brief part of the day, but it's 30 minutes for teachers to leave their classroom and visit the Zen room and kind of relax in the middle of the day. So we're doing that right now through the month of August and September, but just trying to find little things to do for teachers to just make sure that they're taking care of themselves and then also that we are honoring um, their time and being respectful of that and trying to make your workload a little easier. I always say if there's something that we can do to remove an obstacle, that's what I'm here to do. And so I always try to be mindful of that. I always believe that if the teacher is at peace, uh, then the students are at peace as well. Yeah, it's ultimately down to the leader of each, each classroom, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, that makes the students. And lastly, uh, what is your goal and vision for our school this year? And what are the primary goals you have and you hope to achieve? My vision for this school is just to continue to grow students who are um, socially, emotionally, um, cognitively, academically well and that they are growing. I think our school is very successful overall. Um, and so I think to take it to that next level, we just need to be focused on the growth of each and every child because each and every child comes to you in a different position at a different place. And if we're all focused on growth, then I think that um, our students will achieve more and feel more success. That's a big goal of mine this year is for students to be involved in that goal setting, to know where they are, to know what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and then how they contribute to their own growth and tracking that growth. It's not an easy task. <laughs> every year it wasn't an easy task, but uh, I guess uh, at the end of the every year, um, you know, we, we pull some miracles <laughs> every <laughs> year. I don't know, to be honest, for me, I feel like I'm teaching you again. Like, it doesn't feel like my like ninth, tenth year, it doesn't feel like at all. For me, it feels like everything is kind of renewed. And I feel like I need to do something better. I need to do something more. I need to do something creative once again. Because of that, uh, I'm kind of letting go a lot of things. It, it, it felt good, actually. Um, and then just to be a focus, um, try to be better for my students and for my group of uh, kinder teachers and, and, you know, try to be supportive to all the schools. I, I wish that this year, the year that really represents uh, what our Lamar CISD is all about and what our school and what our community is all about as well. Um, any last word for our Merlins? Um, just that it's been a rocky first three weeks. You know, <laughs> yes. we had an unexpected tragedy, but it was wonderful to see how the community, our Merlin community and our LCISD community came together to wrap their arms around us and get us through this unexpected tragedy that we just experienced. We have a great community and we're truly blessed to be able to work together and to work with the students. So I just am excited and eager to see all the growth of our students and the growth of our teachers and staff and just watching them flourish in another successful school year. Thank you, Ms. Jordan, for having us. And thanks to all the Merlins who are listening. Have a good one.